And we're back. Hi guys, this is Secret Mustache and welcome to day 72 of 365 Days of Games. Tonight's game is Dungeon Defenders. It is a game that I have not played yet. Yes, I got it off a great recommendation, I believe, from Anthony and just never got around to playing it. I got it when it was cheap and just kind of let it sit in my library with cobwebs on it, but that's the best thing about doing 365 Days of Games is we get to play all the games that we were like, yeah, I'll play it, and just never got a chance to. If it's your first time checking me out, what I'm doing is every night I'm going through a new game in my library, starting in an alphabetical order, and playing at least an hour of each game I play through. I have at least 365 games, so we're going for a full year. Tonight, I adjusted all the options, and I really don't know what this game's about, so... Um, I'm guessing that it's mostly multiplayer. Post or join an online play session. Show the world what you've got. Begin a local play session. I guess we'll just go local, because uh, I don't think Anthony's on right now. I did check before we went on, and he was not on. Mm, I can do a quick check right now. He is not, so. Donning his robe and wizard hat. The apprentice is eager to delve deeper into the world of the arcane. Under the guidance of the Grand Magus, the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. Brave knight in training, the squire upholds the honor and nobility of his kingdom with every slice of his blade. Building defenses of brute force and limited range, the squire prefers melee weapons as his instruments of justice. Bludgeoning spikes and whirling blades unleash the rage he bestows upon his foes. <laughs> Trained in reconnaissance, the sleek and slender huntress deploys deadly traps and explosives. But do not be fooled by her appearance. This elegant she-devil is trained in ranged weaponry and is sure to always hit her mark. Launching a volley of arrows from the shadows, the enemy never sees her coming. It's female Link. Once a peaceful and passive student, the monk has been called from his solitary meditation and forced to take up arms in the defense of his land. Only he, through his expert spear-fighting skill, can avenge the death of his master. Channeling his aura, the monk uses energy to heal his allies and cripple foes. And lady already put it best and it's that's the last airbender right there sorry the sly trickster. wow all right so we got some locked guys uh, <laughs> uh well in terms of these generic classics like the classics classes i usually go with the scout so we're probably going to go with female link right here I mean, yeah, that's what it comes down to. I, I usually don't go with a warrior. So it's either scout or magician. And this this looks like to get, uh, the wizard from He-Man. Under the guidance of the Grand Magus, the apprentice has learned the art of conjuration. While summoning towers of mystical defense to aid him, he blasts his enemies with waves of magic from afar. Oh, whatever. We can go with, we go with the mage. So this color would be what? No. Can I not go with? I, I wanted to go with green and yellow. Yeah. Edit. What will you dub your variant warrior? What? I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay. For some reason, it wasn't letting me do that with the... Uh, 
how to make it a more neon green. And that's that's good enough. Change outfit. Oh, uh, what? Oh my god. In and of course, it changed it back to its normal color. Alright, come on. There we go. Accessory. What's the accessory? Oh, I guess the belt buckle. That's fine. Is your crystal? Wow. Um, damn. Sure. We'll just. We'll, we're gonna go with this. <laughs> oh boy. How many times are you going to ask me what hero I want to go with? I, I want to go with that hero. Yes. Quick tutorial. Full tutorial. Yeah. I mean, we're starting it for the first time. And that's what we want to show. So let's go with the full tutorial. Etheria was once a land of living legends. Long ago... Brave warriors across the realm stood together against an immortal evil known as the Old Ones. In the wake of this struggle, the champions locked away the power of the Old Ones inside Eternia crystals. Recently, the realm's heroes, called to a faraway crusade, have left their younger kin to tend the castle and its chores. Bored with their dreary duties, and imagining action and adventure, the pupils accidentally unleash an ancient force that has long been dormant. Well, now these heroes maybe don't put it on a fucking pedestal. Quickly. Maybe lock that shit away. Together they will defend the Eternia crystals against those who would seek to resurrect the ancient evils. Yeah, if there's a crystal that causes ruckus when it's moved, you want to put that in a vault somewhere with the security code on it and everything. You don't want it on a pedestal. Welcome, brave defender, to the dungeons of Etheria. Thanks. I am the spirit of champions, guide to all those who would claim the title of hero. I am summoned to those who are courageous of heart in times of great need. I will attempt to teach you the basic arts of dungeon defense. Heed my words well, for your life, nay, the fate of all Etheria may depend on it. Your mission is to defend the Eternia Crystals against all opposition through waves of enemy attacks. You can move around the area with the left stick. You can also press the A button to jump. Yep, I got, I got those right so far. To rotate the camera. Yeah, I've got pressing that one the right too. stick button allows you to cycle through the camera zoom levels, while pressing the left bumper will display the area map. Summoning defenses is essential to the survival of your Eternia crystals. While you may be a capable warrior, the sheer ferocity of the enemies you will be facing will require clever strategy and careful placement of your defenses. All right. To summon defenses, first open your action wheel by pressing. Good. Now use the right stick to select summon defenses from the action wheel. You may activate this ability by pressing the right trigger or the A button. Excellent. Now select a defense to summon. Because you are yet an inexperienced hero in training, 
you can only build a single defense. Select that defense with the right stick, as you did before, and then press the right trigger, or the A button, to activate it. Magic Missile Tower? Now that you have activated the summon ability, you must decide where to place your defense. Move it with the left stick, then press the right trigger, or the A button, to confirm. You may only place your defense within a radius around yourself, and defenses generally need enough free area to be summoned to a location. Go ahead, summon your defense to a valid location now. Uh, but I would like a better view of what my location is, because that sucks. How about right here? Facing right there. Once your defense is probably should have put one right here. You may here. then place more defenses during this build phase. Summoning defenses consumes mana power, which is the magical resource used for all your hero abilities, and to upgrade your equipment. Once you are ready to face your enemies, head to the Eternia Crystal and activate it with the X button in order to proceed to the combat phase. Notice the indicator in front of each creep door, displaying the number and types of enemies that will be advancing from that location. Oh, Use this okay. information to better plan your defensive strategy. When you do not have any more mana power, you should proceed to face your enemies by heading to the Eternia Crystal and activating it with the X button. Go ahead. Do this now. No. I, I only put down one tower. Deadly Striker Tower. Uh, let's, let's put this down. Can we? No? Magic Blockade? Or is that all we have? Alright. Once you have entered the combat phase, the creep doors will open and enemies will seek out your Eternia Crystals. Here's one now. A goblin! By default, the camera will zoom in during the combat phase. If you wish to return to the overhead camera, simply press the right stick button. You can also change this setting via the options menu. Watch your defenses annihilate this foul critter. Or go forth and slay it yourself. Yeah. I went forth More and slayed it myself. Are arriving. They cannot be harmed within the dark energy around the creep doors, so only attack them once they become vulnerable. Steal yourself, little warrior, and defeat these creatures. all this can I harvest congratulations this? you have survived your first wave of enemies you may have taken some damage however you can heal yourself by opening the action wheel activating the hero icon and then activating your heal self ability uh, okay each hero class has unique hero abilities in addition there are some abilities which all heroes share by activating the corresponding abilities from your action wheel, you can repair your defenses, upgrade them, or even sell them. Hmm, okay. You can also bind any ability to a hotkey by selecting that ability in the action wheel and holding left, down, up, or right on the directional pad. Then you can activate that ability by simply tapping the corresponding hotkey. Look, a treasure chest has appeared near the Eternia Crystal. Open it to see what is inside. An Eternia chest? Where is the Eternia chest? Are you the Eternia chest? <laughs> Defender's Forge. Where's the where's the treasure chest? Equipment will enhance your 
your hero statistics, which oh, are available by pressing the back button. Each hero may equip a helmet, torso armor, gloves, boots, and a class-specific weapon. You may store excess equipment in your item box by highlighting dropped equipment and pressing the X button. Let's try another wave. Go ahead and summon your defenses, and then activate the Eternia Crystal once more. Be prepared for battle. Let's put something over here now that, now that we have a little bit more. Let's put another one right about... Yeah, I like having them here. Face them this way. Oh, that is also an area they can come through. All right. Started. A dark elf archer has arrived. These arrow shooting enemies can be particularly dangerous to your vulnerable defenses and should be hunted down. deal with them. Nice. Go tower, go tower, go. Well done. You will encounter a variety of twisted creatures in the course of your battles. But be wary of their unique tricks and behaviors. You must employ your best strategies to take advantage of their weaknesses. Some enemies have an elemental alignment. These monsters emanate fire, lightning, or poison, and are marked with the icon of the element they are immune to. Certain defenses also have an elemental alignment, oh, in which case they will be ineffective against such enemies. By defeating your enemies and completing waves, you have earned sufficient experience points to level up. You may now choose to apply several points to any of the hero statistics that you desire. These may be applied during the build phase through the hero info interface. Choose wisely, young trainee. You may opt to specialize in one area or spread your points over a wide range of disciplines. The choice is yours. And apply yours your alone. And accept the level up. Okay. I'm trying. Apply level up. As you advance in level, your hero will be able to carry more mana power. This will enable you to summon even more types of defenses, or upgrade those which you have already placed for additional power. If you do not wish to apply a level up immediately, you can apply points later from the forge. The forge draws power from nearby Eternia crystals. When close, press the X button to open the forge. Go ahead and do so now. Ooh, yep. Oh, those are the 
one's attack rate and area of defense. Area of effect. Those are good. Alright, cool. Do not wish to apply a level up. Alright, whatever. At the forge, you can invest mana in equipment, enabling you to level up the item for increased power. You can also swap heroes at the forge, which will allow you to gain the benefits of each hero class's defenses. The forge may only be accessed during the build phase, so be sure to plan ahead. Such are the basics of the defensive arts. Now, about your hero class. Oh my god. As an apprentice, your defenses will invoke the power of the elements to be used in devastating ranged attacks. Be sure to charge up your magic staff with the right trigger before releasing for maximum effectiveness. You can hold the left trigger to charge a powerful knockback attack, useful for clearing away enemies when you are crowded. The Apprentice also has an overcharge ability, which allows rapid casting of spells, and a mana bomb ability, which will unleash devastating explosion of magical energy against all nearby foes. Use them wisely in times of need. Remember well what I have taught you. If you need my help again, you may reset this tutorial from the options menu. Alright, cool. Go forth, young acolyte. Summon your defenses, ready your weaponry, and then activate your Eternia Crystal once more to face the terrible darkness that lies in wait on the other side, and defeat it. This one too. So I don't know where it's taking that from. I think it's taking it from the 80 at the bottom left of the screen. The 80 at a 452. I think that's the amount of mana I have. But we've got two defenses. There's a door up here, but for the next wave, I think it's just. It's all coming from the middle, so it should be pretty well defended for that. So let's just start her up. Oh, 
overcharge. I need eight. going to be stuck. Put this one just like the other one. I like that. I could do another one. Uh, might as well. So for this one, I shouldn't have to do much. We'll see. defended. side. Pretty sure we got three on that side too. sides a little bit because it's going to come into play when I least expect it so I'm going to build up defenses for it mm, kind of now-ish That's good because just in case they try the low road, it'll get them on the low road as well. And same thing over here. Oh, not enough? Alright, well, there's treasure chests everywhere.
for this side. Perfect. the items again. Um, there we go. There we go. I don't know how to get there. Alright. We've been doing all right. We'll just focus on the defenses and fire from far. Is getting filled up. Like, I obviously have a limit to how much of that I can carry. Ooh, there we go. Attack rate. this. Excellent. Alright. Basically just something that they can't get through. Take them a little bit longer to get through. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Same thing for the other side. Do we have enough to do it? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> All right. Yep, okay. So we finally have them coming from this side, too. I think the one defense over here should be fine. But I'm going to put one right here just to make sure. Probably a bad spot. Whatever. Learning. Should 
sir. Equip it. Equip it. Blockades in. If not, then well, I do. At least for this side. See what happens. Defenses must hold. You shall not pass.
level up area of effect yep Two enemies coming from this way. Alright, so we have the double up over here. Uh, maybe I'll put one on this side. So I'll have a triple, triple threat. my maximum amount of defense units, apparently. Alright, so, let's start her up.
definitely the boss right there. And he's down. The other side should be fine. It is. Oh, there's another bruiser going in it. Oh, wow. He just went right through those blockades. Hit me. it to the item box. Oh, I just sent it to the item box. I don't know where this item box is. defend is right here. That's the tunnel. But there's really only two big ways for them to come in. Well, three. Right here. Oh, that'll be. Oh, no, it won't reach down, will it? Shit. Alright. Then this one's gonna go right here. Side. 
Oh, well, this one's the middle. Alright. But this one will go right here. treasure chests and there are yep I'm just gonna load it up with strategically placed missile towers it's all I really have right now Those ones are on that duty. These ones will be on this duty, which is 
both the staircase and as they're getting up those stairs down there. It's perfect. Right about there. That's what it's got to be like on all the sides. First one. Yeah, no, nah, that doesn't sound too nice. No, thanks.
still doing good on points, even by doubling those up. So let's try and double these up. See where we're at. One more. Oh, come on. I just need one more. Oh, wait, wait, wait. same thing, just kind of triple everything up. Facing towards the staircase, just in case they get past these first ones.
yeah, I'm definitely not going to have enough to do that everywhere, but it'll at least make it a little bit more difficult for them. Whoa, 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 That's not cool. I didn't know that was possible. That was stupid on my part. I just needed to sit back and let the defenses do their thing. so you can repair things during the match. That's really cool. Just a matter of repairing everything. I only have uh, I have two more out of eighty defense units. I can't do anything. These are all healed. Healed. Healed.
build and now just for this other side. This didn't get too messed up either. Just letting the turret do its thing. Oh, oh, crystals under attack. Ogre. Shall not pass. Wow, you shouldn't have got that far. How did you pass? Assholes. Hey, back off. bad. defense game uh, you can definitely get into really really fun lots of different details that you can delve into that I didn't show I didn't show any of the classes there's lots of upgrades that you could do there's lots of different defenses that are unlocked through uh, upgrading your classes and upgrading your levels so definitely like I say for most of these games pick it up if you can pick it up cheap steam summer sales right around the corner pick it up cheap if you can it's worth it and thank you guys as always for watching check me out tomorrow night sometime between 10 and 12 and let's see what game we're in for
Ooh, okay. So, tomorrow night's game is Dying Light, which should be a lot of fun. I have not played nearly as much of that game as I wanted to. So, as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to follow and turn on notifications, because I am mostly late at night. Mostly. But it will be tomorrow night, sometime between 10 and 12. Thank you, guys. I'll see you. Woo!